Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Ay, mi mamá me decía así cuando estaba enojada. <laughs> yo sé, yo sí le digo también a la niña José. <laughs> Sorry, Guadalupe. <risa> Pero es que ayer me agarró bien feo, me dolía mucho, mucho, mucho la cabeza. Y vine yo y me compré un Monster. Ya tenía años de no, son bebidas energizantes. Y pasé comprando un Monster. Eso no se toma, eso ah, no se toma. Ah, pero bien rico. Ah, pues, y no, empecé a sudar helado cuando venía, pero empecé a sudar helado, horrible, horrible. Empecé a sudar helado y el dolor de cabeza me dio más fuerte, porque como, es que la verdad que dunda, porque me tomé la pastilla con el Monster. Y no, empecé a sudar helado y dije, no, me voy a dormir. Y no me levanté hasta las seis de ahora. Me, me noqueó, me noqueó. <ríe> Nunca me había pasado eso hasta las seis de la mañana. Ay, qué peligroso. Eso sí, sí, pero es que la verdad que como me dolía mucho y ya, ya me voy a tomar con el Monster la pastilla, dije yo, pero sí me, me noqueó. <ríe> a ver, por eso eh, pido yo, eso no se toma. <ríe> no. <ríe> Así que no hagan pero, esa mezcla. Esa va mejor algo con vitamina C. Ay, sí, porque bien. Pero feo. solo una, solo una. Porque ya en exceso es malo. Con Pero solo una, con vitamina C, así bien relajadito, tranquilo. Con vitamina C de cerveza. Pues sí, eso. Ah. <risa> yo, ya lo dije usted, yo no lo dije. <risa> no, es que yo primero pensé vitamina C para la piel, pero no creo que se refiera a eso, dije yo. <risa> no, la verdad. <risa> No, pero una así relajadito, tranquilo, pero solo una, solo una. Hay, pero... gente, que se, hay gente que se pasa. Ay, sí. <ríe> pero bueno, qué bueno que no le agarró pe peor. No me quedó. Sí. All right, hi Johnny, hi Domingo, Debbie, hello Debbie. Hi teacher. Hi teacher. Gabi, <ríe> ¿cómo les fue ahora? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? ¿Everything okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Johnny. Nice. Relax. Relax in oh. my home. Hot day. Johnny, <laughs> how many classes today? In this day, six class in the morning. Six classes in the morning, toda la mañana. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, Johnny. Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, you told me I'm like very, very um, hard for you, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Ah, okay, Gabi, ya leí ahí el mensaje. Thank you. All right. Yes, one last one. Ocho mensajes. Very good. Hi, Maria. How are you? I did share. Fine. And you? I'm okay. Everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Very good. All right, guys. So let's continue with what we stopped yesterday. All right. Yesterday we were talking about procedures and how they are important for a restaurant or any company whatsoever to have procedures. How the experience of a customer is important uh, based on the procedures of a restaurant. All right. And then we had uh, we had to number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order. All right. So, acuérdese that in English, hay pocos y pocas profesiones que tienen género. All right. Pero waiter es una de ellas. Waiter is for boys and waitress is for girls. All right. So that's the difference. All right. So in case you work or you know someone that works as a waiter, it has to be a man. And if it's a waitress, it's a, a woman. All right. So you have to remember that. De hecho, hay bien pocos, pero esos son uno de los que sí tienen género. All right. Very good. Um, yesterday, solo para ponernos en contexto, estábamos diciendo que greet the customer is number one. Tienen su... No estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? No, pero ustedes tienen el manual ahí, ¿verdad que sí? Yeah. Yes. Eh, 
Excellent, thank you. All right, estamos en la página 17, exercise two, deme un segundo. All right, so here we have, so number one is greet the customer, then we said number two is what? Sit, Sit the customer? Sit the customer, yes. Yes, thank you, what about number three? What was number three that you told me guys yesterday? Take the customer order. order, order yes. Take the customer's order, very good. What about four? Confirm the order. Yes, confirm the order, very good. Number five, it would be? Handle the food. Handle the food correctly. And the last one would be? Serve the food. Serve the food. All right, very good. Ahora, tengamos cuidado con el verbo serve. All right, no, no decimos serve, ¿verdad? Serve, con B. Serve the food, greet the customer, handle the food correctly, seat the customer and confirm the order and take customer's order. All right, now here we have... Uh, we were supposed to do these definitions yesterday. Aquí nos quedamos ayer. Uh, the meaning of the words below. Teníamos handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. Now, uh, let me see here. Mariano, in your definition, in your own words, Mariano, okay, what is handle? ¿Cómo le explica usted a alguien the word handle? In your own words, of course. The handle. It, it's the contact the, the the contact chef with the food okay uh, only with the food mariano i mean when yeah. i i say what is handle mariano you say it's the contact with the food yes yes yeah the contact okay. yeah okay all right very good anybody else johnny what did you have for handle yesterday what is handle? Driver. Stuff. Excuse me, Domingo? Uh, handle is... Uh, uh, driver is the stuff. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Johnny, what do you have? Oh. Oh, driver is restaurant. Sí, pero la, la, la definición de handle... Mm. Oh, manejar. Oh. Yeah, but man, uh -huh. Manejar, but not the drive. It's not uh, driving, yes. Uh -huh. It's another type, of, another type of handling. Yeah, all right. So in Spanish, <laughs> we say manejar, de manejo el carro, y manejar de, de, de handle. <laughs> man, man, manejar algo. Exacto. Teacher, uh -huh. I don't know. Teacher. I Teacher. to attend to. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh -huh. en, en, por lo menos en los, los manuales que veo casi siempre ocupan driver para cuando va a manipular algo eh, digamos driver de motor o driver de, de, inver, de inverse que son equipos eh, pero si no va con, con manejar lo que ocupan tanto la palabra driver o sea lo que pasa es que puede ser porque si es motor si sí dirían drive pero en este caso uh -huh. como tal no es manejar un motor Uh, o sea que se drive, tío, ocupo driver para manejar cosas como equipos y cosas así, equipo, que sea equipo, mecánica. Equipo, ah. Mecánico, ah, ok, oh, sí, quedó claro. Quizás como, como en inglés más técnico, creo yo, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. in, my, in my opinion, teacher, handle is the properly use of something. Is the proper? Properly use of something okay all right i hear you okay all right let's let's listen to johnny y luego regresamos con el uh, action to attend to a uh, customer mm, okay uh, all right could be yes all right anybody else handle estamos en def defining handle Teacher, a handle uh, when a person is at church of something. Okay. 
All right, could be, yes, sorry, so could be. You handle something like, uh-huh. Very good, anybody else with handle? Manager. Management could be the, ma the management of something, yes. All right, Ever, what do you have uh -huh. to handle? Okay. Domingo said the same year. Oh, the same uh, I think I think like a, is like a manager of the something of some company. Is the the action when the one person to 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 be church about the other things in the company or the office? I think I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. If it is not the man, I think the right word would be management, the management of something. All right. Okay. One more about, about handle. Any other ideas about handle guys? Debbie, Vane, Jorge. Ismar, Walter, Carlita, Handel? No. Yeah. When you can use your hand, you kiss something, uh, and not reality that works hands. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. It's important, guys, to notice and to remind you. Y a veces por eso el inglés se vuelve como, no complicado, pero tiene sus trucos, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que hay muchos verbos que también son nombres o sustantivos. Por ejemplo, handle, en este caso puede ser un verbo y puede ser un nombre o un sustantivo. Cuando decimos, en este caso lo estamos usando como verbo, ¿all right? Pero decimos handle, es the management of something. Puede ser of food, of a business, of an event, of something, all right? It's the management of... It's the management, sorry guys, it's the management of something como, vamos a decirlo así, como verbo. Ahora, handle. No, <laughs> Tener un music, pero... Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Entonces, el handle puede ser el mango o el agarradero de algo. Puede ser de una cacerola, puede ser de un cuchillo, puede ser el handle de, um, del carro. All right. Un handle. All right. Es, es, es eso. Es usted, algo que usted agarra y mueve. All right. A handle. Ahora, handle as a verb is the management of something, how to handle something. And we use it with hands. De hecho, se deriva, como decía Walter, of hands, all right? We use our hands to handle something, all right? So to handle something is the management of something, of a situation, of food, of a product, okay? What is confirmed, Carla? What do you have for confirm? Um, confirm, uh, um, confirmar, uh, we to confirm, confi to confirm order the reservation. Okay, ahí me está dando un ejemplo, Carlita, pero lo que yo quiero es una definición. Imagínese que yo no tengo idea lo que mm -hmm. quiere decir confirm. ¿Cómo me explica usted qué es I don't know, teacher. Está bien, Carlita. Don't worry about it. A ver, alguien más, confirm, que me ayude. Me, teacher. To be. Vamos con Van. To be sure about something. Okay, to be sure about something. Yes, could be very nice. Miss Mar, tell me. Um, it, is, it is answer the customer if your order is okay. Okay, all right, yes. Okay, now you're relating it, Miss Mar, with, with the restaurant industry, which is okay, all right? Yeah, very good. Yes. Someone else, thank you. Someone else with confirm. Uh, 
teacher yes. is this uh, the, the book a table aplica lo que pasa que ese ya es como un ejemplo domingo lo que yo quiero uh -huh. es que expliquen en el caso que yo no sepa que es que como 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 me explican usted que quiere decir confirm confirm uh -huh. okay. all right yes a ver alguien más maybe trini or debbie victoria Veo que Carlitos va manejando, así que Carlitos está, no se preocupe. Daniel, anybody else? Doris, what is confirmed? Yes, it is ensure the order of the client. Okay, related to customers, I mean, related to um, restaurants, yes. Yeah, in, in the concept of restaurants, yes. Okay, okay, very nice, okay. Let's see, Vamos, let's do one more y luego tomo la, la asistencia. Uh, payment, what is payment? No quiero ejemplos, quiero definiciones. Uh -huh. when, when you pay something with money. Okay, when you pay something with money. Yes, very good, Johnny. Creo que iba a hablar. No, teacher. Pero ya estuvo. <laughs> <laughs> what is payment, Johnny? You explain it to me. Payment or payment? No, payment. 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 Yes. payment is, I don't know, in Spanish, forma de pago. I know, but it's... With credit card. When... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo explicamos eso, Johnny? Vamos, Johnny, usted puede, yo sé. But not in Spanish. Uh, Make it in English. For example, uh, I don't know when I go to pay in caja. I don't know box in, in, in the registration uh, box. No? The cashier or the registration? Uh -huh. uh, cashier. Uh -huh. I pay with uh, I don't know Shiba wallet. Okay. Or credit card. Okay. Right. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Daniel. Okay, Johnny. Okay. I have received the money for service or food. Receive lo, eh, fleta payment. Porque puede ser eh, que lo reciba o, o que yo pago. All right, yeah, receive or pay, right? Receive or pay for um, eh, the money. Receive or pay money for the service or food. Excellent, all right. So payment is receive or pay money for a service or a product. Excellent. Very nice. I like it. Okay, very nice. Hola. Teacher, una pregunta. Fuera lo contesto. ¿Y trueque cómo se dice inglés? Existe trueque. Trade. Trade, trade. Trade. Uh -huh. All right. Ya vamos a seguir con las otras definitions. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Thank you, Trini. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Está manejando por ahí. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Evi Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Andrade Montana. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Teacher present, Carlos Melgar. Voy manejando, lo siento. Hay un micrófono abierto. Jorgito, Jorge, ¿dónde está Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores? José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Dice Guadalupe García de Miranda. All right, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Ok, María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. You. 
Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Yo, Julio César Vega Aguilar. Brenda María López Lobo. Eh, Doris Guada Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, very good guys, thank you. All right, let's continue then here. All right, with the definitions. ¿Lograron terminar las definiciones ayer? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes. Everybody, Mariano finished. Is Mar ever everybody finished the finitions? Okay. Yes, sure. I'm just making sure. Okay, continuamos. I teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. I finished, but I'm not sure if they're okay. Uh -huh. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're, that's why we're working on it right now. A ver, okay. number four is greeting. What is the definition of greeting? Teacher. Yes, Carlita. Uh, um, greeting when you arrive at a place. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué pasa? When I arrive to a place, ¿y qué hago? Ratings. <laughs> All right, yes, okay. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you say hi, I'm here. All right, very good. Okay, very good, Carlita. Veamos llegando, very good. Another one, another definition. When hi. you say, I'm sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> when you <laughs> say hi. Yes, all right. Entonces, podemos complementar con la de Carla. When you arrive to a place and you say hello. All right. Say okay. hi. You say hi, you say hello. You say good morning, you say good afternoon, you say goodbye. Todos esos son greetings, ¿verdad? All right. And no, a ver, ¿alguien más tiene greetings? I, uh, I, me teacher, uh, you say welcome or say goodbye. O sea, dale, give the welcome or say goodbye. Because I think you say uh, when you go, it's a greeting. Yes, yes, when you say yes. goodbye, bye, thank you. Goodbye, que le vaya bien. I don't know, como, como, how, how say uh, que le vaya bien? I don't know. Be safe. Be safe. It's, it's, ah, okay, okay, be safe. Okay, thank you. Teacher. It's a good manners, teacher. Yeah, they're good manners, yes, of course. Um, yes, Johnny. Is it a script to talk to customer? Also, yes. it could be a script, yes. All right, yeah. Okay, very good. Um, another way to define it is salutations. Decimos greetings or salutations es lo mismo, all right? So, salutations is a way to say hi, hello, goodbye, good evening, good night. Those are the sun greetings. All right. Notify. What is notify? Definitions for notify. Sure. Yes. In, in greeting, is correct say to be kindness? To be kind. Be kind? Yes, to be kind. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, to be kind is one. Okay. A ver, notify. Uh, receive or give the one information of the information. Transmit the message. Okay, someone else. It uh, say the order status. Excuse me? It say the order status. Yes, it could be Bismar. Very good. Uh huh. All right. Anybody else with notify? When you say something important mm. or no? Yeah, but if I mean yes, because I understand what notify is. 
but if you're trying to explain it, Doris, to someone that has no idea what notify is, they may not really understand what it means, all right? So yes, because I understand it, and you're in the right track, right? So I think it's good, yeah. All right, very nice. Okay, entonces, de, a, de voy a decirlo así, de aquí para allá. <laughs> On um, intermediate level and advanced level, hay mucha definición que vamos a trabajar ya sea conmigo o con alguien más, all right? So, es importante no, no solo saber dar ejemplos, sino que saber explicar esa palabra. ¿Qué es notify? ¿Qué es handle? All right? Y luego, obviamente, ponerlo en contexto. All right? Yes? You guys understand that? Yeah? And that's why it gets a little bit more complicated. Primero tenemos que saber qué es para poder definirlo nosotros. All right? So, sometimes, por ejemplo, Yo sé que hay unas que son más fáciles que otras, pero a medida vamos avanzando, de repente es, se vuelve más complicado. Déjame All right, very good. What are we going to do now? Vamos a irnos ahorita a los grupos. Solo déjeme ver aquí algo. Déjeme ver algo. Ok, vamos a hacer dos ejercicios a la vez. Vamos a hacer number three and number four. Siempre on page 17, all right? With the five words, con las mismas cinco palabras that we were working with the definitions, all right? Notify, payment, greeting, all right? Um, y todas las otras que me faltan, all right? I want you to make up sentences, all right? Using the word. Hoy no vamos a hablar de definiciones porque ya las vimos. Now, I want you to use the word itself on a sentence, all right? For example, you can say, now El Salvador receives a new way of payment through Chivo Wallet, for example, all right? So that's a sentence, ya usé yo payment, okay? Ahora, no quiero oraciones como, uh, no, no, no simple sentences, all right? Like the, the example I just gave you, you can say, like I just said, now El Salvador has a new method or a new way of payment through Chivo Wallet. It's not a basic sentence anymore. All right, entonces, vamos a pensar en una oración por palabra, all right, and those sentences tienen que estar así como al intermediate level, okay? Yes? And exercise number two. No, ¿sabe qué? Vamos a hacer ese primero y luego... Re regresamos, revisamos y luego hacemos el otro ejercicio para no sentir tanto. All right, so let's go. Ya empecé a compartir pantalla, eh, Johnny. <ríe> All right, para que no me regañe, Johnny. No me digas. All right, vamos a ver. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Hola. Hola, dígame. Uh, yo ahorita no puedo unirme a a la sala. Sí, no, no se preocupe, yo sé, ni, ni, ni Carlitos, ni ahorita tampoco, ni Gaby, ni Claudita, entonces yo, yo estoy pendiente, si en caso ustedes están con ellos, no se preocupe, ya los voy a mover. Ok, thanks. Mm -hmm. A ver, ¿qué voy a hacer entonces? All right. Okay, let's go guys. Teacher, mi hija me cerró el cuadrito. <laughs> oh no. Vaya, permítame, ya lo muevo. Okay. Vaya, de Villa la mandé. Mire ahora. Ok. Bueno.
Hi, Johnny. I have a question. Yes. Oh, for example, in the first handle, I don't know, is similar to manager or manage? No, it's similar to management. Management. Mm -hmm. When I, mm -hmm. I can do something? Yes, all right. So for example, you can say a way to handle a restaurant properly is to have procedures. Or when you handle a hot pan, o sea, cacerola, you need to be careful. All right, uh, to handle a good business is hard work. All right? For example, uh, when I clean the floor, uh, first, Barrer, I don't know. Uh -huh. First you, and, you sweep. Uh -huh. And to trapear and clean. Pero I don't como, know. Pero como está ocupando la palabra handle? O sea, ahora ya no quiero definición, ¿verdad? Sino que usar handle dentro de una oración. Ajá, pero si yo no tengo bien la definición, puede ser que diga otra cosa que no es. Ajá, uh -huh. alright, entonces handle es como manejo, el manejo de algo, alright. Como cuando me ponen a hacer algo, yo lo puedo hacer y sé los pasos que debo de seguir para hacer eso. Sure, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. That could be. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. Entonces por eso le decía, ¿verdad? Podemos decir algo así como... Para manejar un negocio, o manejar, mejor dicho, manejar un negocio es, eh, requiere de mucho trabajo. Entonces decimos, to handle or handle a business requires a lot of work, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you need to handle food properly for a, to offer a good service. Ah, oh, okay. 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 All right.
teacher. Can you uh, I I I I no remember what me salí de la sala por accident. Okay, Leti, solo que ahorita ya lo saqué a todos igual. Ah, ok. Vamos a compartir ahorita. All right, I think everybody's back now. All right, let's see. Let's let's hear from, from some groups right now. Uh, Sala two, it was Emer, Leticia, and Walter. All right, can you guys tell me one sentence each? Ustedes coja cualquiera de las palabras que trabajaron ahí. Okay, teacher. We got one about this. Is handle strong my bicycle when going down the mountain. Tell me again. I handle and strong my bicycle when I going down the mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, yeah, it's okay. Let's see, uh, the other sentence. Another sentence. Yeah, maybe Letty or Walter can tell me the other sentences. Okay. Uh -huh. mm, me, teacher? Yes, Letty. Okay. Uh, eh, it's important to, eh, it's important eh, to give, uh, it's important to begin in, um, it's important to begin in, uh, and a speech and or for workers uh, in in a good greeting. Uh, maybe will be um, motivation for the day at the day. Okay, all right. Uh, tell me again. Tell me the beginning of your sentence. Let me. I I forgot it, teacher. All right. Okay, así como it is okay. important to begin. All right. Debería de ser. It is important. Okay. In a speech with a greeting, all right. Okay, uh -huh. That's motivation uh, for workers. All right, yeah, very good. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Walter, the other, the other <laughs> sentence. Ya no puede ser ni greeting ni handle. If I okay. don't pay me the water this month, the next month I can't take a shower and I will have a bad smell. <laughs> All right, a ver, Walter, repítamelo otra vez, me dio risa, I'm sorry, pero no es por nada, no, solo por lo que me dijo. If I don't pay me the water this month, the next month I can take a shower and I will have bad smell. A ver, payment no es verbo, payment es un nombre, all right, entonces no podemos iniciarla diciendo algo así como if. Um, if I don't pay, pay sería el, el verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted tiene que decir, if I don't do my water payment, all right, I'm not going to pay my shower next month, all right, and I'll be stinky. <laughs> all right, acuérdese, payment no es verbo, es un nombre, all right, very good. Entonces usted dice, I pay, you pay, he pays, pero no dice, I payment, you payment, they payment, ¿verdad? No lo podemos conjugar. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. Ever, sigo con la con su oración de handle, fíjese. De hecho, podríamos hacerlo un poco como más como Why you Because cuando usted dice es como creo que lo estamos estamos interpretando handle como manejar, pero manejar de manejar. With the action, yes. Pero una bicicleta. Like a action. I mean, you can handle the bike, but, pero no es en, no es en el sentido. No. De, 
se maneja y no sé cómo explicarle. Oh, my goodness. Um, Teacher, es, por ejemplo, eh, eh, ya perdí. <risa> ya perdí también. Pero espérate, pues, a ver, sí. <risa> solo, solo déjeme, Domingo, terminar con la, la de Ever ahí. Dígamelo otra vez, Ever, no voy a dormir en paz. I handle, I handle and strong my bicycle when I go down the mountain. I handle strong. I handle, okay, entonces le mole vuelta. I handle the bike strongly. All right, pero la manejo como la, no la manejo. Strongly, como la, strong, como la, strongly fuerte, es fuertemente, es con like a fuertemente, strongly. I handle my bicycle strongly. When I go down the hill. Yeah. When I go down the mountain, well, yes. Pero era porque estaba al revés también. Yes. Okay, all right. That sounds better uh, right now, Ever. Thank you. All right. Let's that sounds better. Thank you, teacher. All right, very good. Uh, Trini and Doris, a la tres. Trini, me lee dos, and uh, Doris, you read two more. Okay. He handled the human resources department very well because he has experience. Very nice sentence, Trini. Super. Thank you. Uh -huh. Siguiente. We called to the restaurant and we confirmed the reservation at 7 a.m. o'clock. Very good. At 7 a.m. Very nice, Trini. Excellent sentences. Thank you, Doris. Uh, the next, the company has different way to payment as check or transfer. You can choose one. All right. Uh, tell me again, Doris. The company has? The company has different way to payment. Of payments, Doris. As, the company has different ways of payments. Of? Of, uh-huh. Of payments. Different, of credit different cards, has, whatever. Uh -huh. The company has different of to payment. Uh, Different ways of payment. A different way of oh, payment. Yes. As check or transfer, you yes. can choose one. Excellent, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So and the other one is notified. My boss notified me that I have a, a raise this month for myself. Wow, I like that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, very good. The, my boss notified. Si la puso en pasado, tendría que ser my boss notified me. Si la ponen en presente, my boss notifies me. Notify. Porque es verbo. Entonces, sí lo tienen que comprender. Very nice. Thank you. Excelente. Thank you. A sala 4, Claudita, Johnny, and Carla. Ahí vamos eh, como quieran, una cada uno, si gustan. Okay. And the uh, the notify teacher, my partner notify that we will not come to work. Oh, I like that sentence. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good, Carlita. Estaba leyendo la de Claudita. Ya la puso en el chat. Y decían, uh, in the restaurant, we have different forms of payment. Igual, eh, Claudita, la preposición sería of payment. Cash, card, and chivo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good, Claudia. Nice. And Johnny. Lucas. Uh, okay. <laughs> 200, food, 200 food. The restaurants have many procedures to serve it to the customer with Biosecurity measure. Wow, I like that, Johnny. Excellent. Very nice sentence, Johnny. Super nice. Sala 5, Daniel, Bunny, and this math. Okay, chair. Um, Marie, Ma, Maria has to be careful with handle soaps. Fine. Uh, she can use a glove for a bar. A bar. Okay, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Thank you, Vismar. Very good. Next sentence, maybe Dani or Bunny. Bunny, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one we we did that dialogue hello i want to do a reservation for a room for friday night and uh, do you have you have to confirm 24 hours before your stay okay i like it very good buddy nice yes well done thank you and danny uh -huh, okay okay uh, yesterday my supervisor notified to the all employees who okay. who need to uh, complete a training a training all right okay yeah notify igual verdad si lo ocupó en pasado sería notified Si lo ocupa en presente, no lo hagáis. Gracias. All right, sala six, we have Domingo, Mariano, and Victoria María. Okay, to share. Eh, I told the waiter to confirm the waiter to confirm if my order was ready. I like that one. Very good, Mariano. Yes, simple but nice. Yes, okay. Very good, Victoria or Domingo. Uh, this week I had to have handle the restaurant book is a uh, wax full. Okay, all right. Yep, very nice. And Victoria. Um, in the new restaurant, they always add the tip in the payment ticket oh okay nice nice victoria very good sentence thank you all right sala seven we have debbie jorge bueno jorge no podía debbie and vicky okay teacher today i made my payment to the bank throw to my cell phone because it's formal to easy Okay, very good. Yes. <laughs> very good, Vicky. Thank you. All right. And we have Debbie. And this morning, my boss notified the time of my meeting. Oh, very nice. Igual con esa, Debbie. Si es pasado, es notified. Y si es presente, notifies. ¿Verdad? Pero si lo tenemos que conjugar, porque estamos hablando de un jefe o una jefa, all right, entonces lo tenemos que conjugar. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Very good. All right. La mayoría hicieron sentences de handle, payment, notify, un par de confirm y un par de greeting. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Let's take attendance right now para que nos podamos ir a hacer el ejercicio cuatro. Yeah, exercise four. All right. Let's see. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Carlos Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. All right. Um, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. David Jasmine Giron Ramírez. Presente. Alexander González. Presente. Ever de Jesús Tatra <laughs> Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Oh. Present teacher. Oscar Roberto Martinez Bernabe. Carla Benacir. Permítame, Carlita. Present teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Present. Estaba viendo que a usted le había puesto. Uy, Carlita, perdone. Aquí está. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Y Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Vale. All right. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Mar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Casaneda Perlera. Present. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodriguez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, very nice. All right, so what are we going to do on... Present teacher. Present internet. No se preocupe, ya estaba ahí. Yo, yo sé que ahí estaba. All right, veamos el... Uy, ¿qué hizo? No sé qué estoy haciendo. All right, so we're going to continue here with this. Now you guys can see, right? So we're going to continue with this exercise fair work. Which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Why? Mire que aquí dice why. Entonces, la idea no solo es ir a, a, a chequear esto que a usted ya le ha sucedido, si lo ha experimentado, sino que why. Tiene que contestarme el por qué. ¿El por qué de qué? De esto. Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Why? Entonces, por ejemplo, usted dice, ah, the waiter is not polite. Que ya nos ha pasado más de alguna vez, bueno, a mí sí. Entonces, why do you think establishing, establishing a procedure could help reduce this? All right. Entonces, ya me dan las razones porque usted cree que es importante establecer procedimientos para que esto no suceda. All right. Yes. Okay, guys. Yes, no. Hola. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. You. All right, hacemos eso y luego venimos a hacer la, en la otra um, actividad. Let's go, guys. Igual seguimos con las mismas salas. Voy a agregar a Linda que acaba de entrar. All right, let's go. Uh, no sé si me puede agregar a una sala, por favor, para ponerme al día. De hecho, no le salió. Quizás no le di entrar en el momento, creo yo. Ah, vale, bueno, no se preocupe, ya lo, ya lo agrego. A mí tampoco no me salió, teacher. Así no le salió. Ahorita. Jorgito, lo voy a mover dos veces, pero necesito que entre a la sala 7, oye. Ok. Ya lo moví una vez. Eh, perdón, teacher, por darle silenciar. Vaya, no, ahorita, no le di no problema. ahorita sí, hoy sí, Jorgito. Ok, thank you.
Okay, so let's let's work on this right now, guys. Number one, it says the waiter gets you gets. Ah, the waiter gets you food you did not ask for. Number two, the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Number three, the waiter is not polite. Number four, the dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu. The dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. All right, so we had those um, those common issues, all right, that may happen or may not happen in a restaurant, all right? Now, what you were supposed to do, it says, which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced? So let's talk about your experiences. Sorry, guys. All right, let's talk about your experiences. From this list, which of these issues have you ever experienced? Let's see, Debbie. Any of those issues that you have experienced, Debbie? Mm. Perdón, perdón. A ver, the, the issues that we were working on, de esos cinco que estaban ahí, have you ever experienced one of them? Um, yes. Which one? Uh, the food takes too long ah, to serve. Okay. Debbie, ¿con quién estaba en el grupo, Debbie? Con... Ay, se me olvidó el nombre. No, Mi con... teacher and Jorge. Ah, Vicky. All right. Vicky, have Vicky. you? Yes, Vicky and Jorge. Uh, Vicky, what about you? Any of these issues that you have experienced in a restaurant, Vicky? Okay. Um, ahorita, teacher. Permítame un segundo. Uh, number two, teacher. Uh -huh. Which one is it? Léamelo, por favor, Vicky, que no lo tengo a la mano. Yo tampoco, por eso le digo. <laughs> la tengo en foto. Ahorita, teacher. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita lo comparto. Es que no lo tenía a la mano, pero ahorita lo comparto. A ver. Ahorita lo veo. A ver. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. ¿Esa sería, Vicky? Yes. Okay. All right, Jorge, and you? Um, okay. Um, yes, it's necessary because it is the first impression the client receive. Okay. Client. Oh, yeah, the client. The client receives. Oh, okay. Very nice. All right. Let's see. Uh, Walter's group. Which of these issues? Have you ever experienced, if any? Hey, teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, no, number two, the food takes too long to serve after ordering it. Ordering it. Okay, any other, Johnny? Uh, the dish you want to order is, is not available, available, but it appears list in the menu. Listed in the menu. All right. Okay. Now, Johnny, do you think to avoid these two issues, do you think to have a procedure is is, is a important or could help? Yes. For example, to buy more ingredients and products to supply food. <laughs> yes, of course. Very uh, good. And to take a menu for season. Uh-huh. All right. Ah, okay. Sure, that makes sense. All right, very good. Okay. Well, then what about you? Any common issues that you have experienced? Sorry, Miss. Yes, Walter, yes, you. Uh, the way is get you food you didn't ask for. Oh, really? Uh, some months ago, I I went to order 
to push us only with beans, uh -huh. but the waiters give me with cheese. Oh no, Walter, all right, okay. Now, do you think if this pupuseria would have procedures or better procedures, do you think that could have like not happened? Yes, they, they haven't, but maybe the issue was radical. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. I hear you. Very good. Let's see. Next one. Um, what about Doris? Did any of these issues, like, have you ever experienced any of these issues, um, Doris? Yes. And the waiter gets my food. And <laughs> the waiter get your food and did not ask for it. Oh, really? Yes. All right. I think that happened because they don't pay attention to the order, or also because they aren't they they aren't have enough stuff in they the restaurant or in the places. Ah, they don't have enough stuff now. Do you think, Doris, that this could be avoided if they have procedures or better? Yes. Procedures? Yes. Why? Yes. Because there are exist uh, some some rules uh -huh. or some well in this case procedures by step step by step. Uh, for example, uh, the order of the people where they came came in the place okay. or or in how do you explain? I when I go to a restaurant, for example, in the planners, uh -huh. and they have a with a cell phone, and they put your, your order. Yes, true. So All right. It's more, it's okay. more easy in this way. Easier. It's easier. Uh huh. It's easier. Ah. <laughs> very. Yes, it's easier. Oh, it's very good. Okay. It's all right, very good. Anybody else with this, guys? Anything else that you want to add or anybody else that wants to participate about this um, assignment or this exercise? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Linda. Um, I think so when the restaurant establish a good procedure and the employees follow the instruction, they can reduce the time to serve uh, the food and avoid make a mistake with the ditches. Excellent, Linda. Because all this help to give a good service. Excellent, Linda, very nice, well done, thank you. Yes, all right. Thank you. One of the, um, it's not to make propaganda, but one of the, the fast food restaurants that serve food fast is McDonald's. All right, they have yes. to, yeah. It's very fast. Food like this, all right, because they have to follow procedures and they have to follow standards, all right? Uh, the other day I went to another hamburger place and it took forever for them to give me my hamburger, all right? And I thought mm, McDonald's would be faster, all right? So I think, yeah, if they actually have good procedures and they follow the procedures, you can avoid many things like serving the wrong food or taking too long, all right? Or being angry, right? Because they're like, maybe sometimes it's like, there's like only two waiters or waitresses and there's like a lot of people, all right? So that's not something good and it's not the waiter's fault, but it's not my fault either as a customer, all right? So we need to, yeah, we need to, to, to work on that. Very good, thank you, Linda, that was very interesting. Anybody else? Anybody else that want to participate? No? Daniel, Carlita, Ever, Mariano, Trini, Leti. Okay, guys. All right. What is the question, Tisha? Yes. Excuse me, Mariano. What is the, the question? Oh, I'm still talking about the exercise of number. Yes, four. The, the, yeah. my experience. And, the, and if you think it's, it can be avoided. 
in my case, the most repetitive experience in this for this example is the the food takes long to long time to be served yeah. after offering. And I think the establishing procedures can help to reduce diseases because the correct use of the procedures facilitates the activities and guarantees a customer satisfaction. Yes, very nice, Mariano. Yes, of course, very good. Oh, and then you go back and all the time to that restaurant. Very nice. All right, let's continue to the next with the next exercise is this one. Next page, uh, it will be page 18, exercise five. It says match the procedures to their descriptions. All right, so we have thawing food, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, and tasting method. All right, so these are some procedures. All right, thawing is cuando se la desinhela. All right, thawing food. All right, so that's that one. So you have to match the procedure with the description. All right. Where is traveling teacher? Repeat. Um, it's like when you unfreeze the food. Unfreeze. Unfreeze, uh huh. Okay. Para ver congelar. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Let's let's see this. Uh, okay, let's work on this right now. Les doy dos, tres minutitos para que lo puedan hacer y luego revisamos. No nos vamos a ningún grupo, lo hacemos individual.
All right, let's see. Letter A. Um, give me a second here. Trini, can you tell me letter A, following food? What is the description? Creo que está congelada, Trini. A ver. Bunny, following food. What is the description for following food? Uh, to let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Very good, throwing food to let frozen food become warmer until it's ready to cook. Very good, thank you. Uh, Trini, uh, hand washing, letter B, Trini. Letter B, wash your hands and form with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Very good, thank you, yes. Number, or oh, letter C. Um, let me see here. Bismarck, can you do letter C? It's a uh, equipment, it's washer, uh, rinse it and disinfect, disinfect, no, se dice? Disinfected, disinfected. Disinfected after each dish is prepared. Okay. Sanitizing, all right, sanitizing, equipment is washed rinsed and disinfected after each each dish is prepared very good letty food storage letty me teacher yes letty please food storage and employees who receive and storage food organizers eaten in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Very good, yes, Letty. All right, employees who receive and storage food organize items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. All right, very good. Linda, can you do purchase? Okay, purchase. Buy package food only from licensed suppliers. Excellent, Linda. Very nice. All right, Vicky, tasting method. Vicky, no? Teacher, eh, la ubicación acá. Sí, ¿cuál sería el tasting method? ¿Cuál nos queda? Sí. All right, ¿qué sería? Take, take a sample. Yes, all right. Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second away from the cooking area and taste the product. All right. Okay, guys, así lo tenían. Thank you, Vicky. As Domingo igual, thank you. Um, así lo tenían. Did you have those answers? Yes, no. teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> No, what happened, Johnny? Yes. One. I have six or six, six or six. Or six. All right, Johnny, ¿cuál tenía de otra forma, Johnny? Uh, testing method. Ah. ¿Y cuál yes. había puesto? La sanity tenía de diferente. Sanitizing. 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 Eh. Sanitizing. Yes. Con hand washing, el número B. Hand washing sería wash your hands and sanitizing. Hand uh, washing. Uh -huh. Washed. All right. Thank you, me teacher. I, I, uh, I was confused. Ah, okay. That's no, okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. What we're going to do now. Vamos a volver a los grupos y vamos a hacer este ejercicio, all right? Lo vamos a hacer para terminarlo ahora y mañana vamos a, a presentarlo. So six and seven. El six lo hacemos hoy, tomorrow we do seven. Y pues voy a cerrar los grupos actuales y voy a abrir otros porque hay varios en cada grupo. In pairs, choose two. 
procedures you follow every day at your workplace, all right? For example, if I am working with Debbie, Debbie hace, me cuenta sus dos procedures que ella tiene que seguir en su trabajo. Yo le cuento dos procedures that I have to work or I have to follow on mine, all right? Yes. Entonces, la idea es que lo hagamos en la computadora y podemos hacer uno por las dos, ¿verdad? Entonces, Debbie escribe las, sus procedures y escribe los míos. Con mi nombre, obviamente. All right. Y mañana, Debbie is going to, Debbie and I, we're going to present the procedures that we came up with. Ok. Si usted tiene, y si es como muy hábil con cositas así de ahorita, puede, puede ponerle hasta dibujitos o tal cual, imágenes que se relacionen con sus procedures. Si no, solo es puro texto, no hay ningún problema. All right. But I do want you to work on this. So let's do letter six. Ok. Obviamente usted puede pensar más procedures that you have to follow at your work. Ahí dice dos, pero if you want to think about more, mejor todavía. All right, voy a rehacer grupos. En the work, teacher. Sí, del trabajo, no es su caso. <laughs> All right, veamos. All right, hoy sí vamos, nos vamos en, en pareja ahorita. All right, so hopefully everybody can join. Solo Gaby no puede estar ahorita. ¿Quién está con Gaby? A ver, Daniel, usted le tocó con Gaby, pero usted puede hacer los suyos y Gaby en su momento puede hacer lo de ella eh, later or tomorrow. Ok, Dani. Ok, teacher, no problem. Thank you. Let's go, guys. La idea es dejarlo listo ya para mañana venir a presentar. Vale. Vale, está por ahí. Ah, ya, malón. Es, no, es que no sé qué le pasa. Por eso entré. Eh, Vanessa tendría que estar con usted, Johnny, pero si usted empieza a pensar sobre sus procedures that you do at your school y lo empieza a hacer y ya espero que Vanessa logre entrar otro ratito porque ahí la veo, quizás se levantó. Ok. All right, thank you, Johnny. Vanessa, por ahí. Yes, teacher. Que se me traba por rato. <risa> ah, vaya. Eh, tendría que estar en la sala con Johnny. Ok. ¿Les, ¿Tiene ahí en la sala todavía? Mm, espérame.
All right, guys, I'm just going to take a picture so I know which groups were we working with today, tonight so you can present tomorrow. And for example, I can say, okay, Johnny, you were working with uh, Vane, right? So tell us about yours and Vanessa's procedures. All right, so that's the whole idea. Okay, I'm going to take the last attendance so you guys may go. All right, and today, Domingo se queda un ratito, Domingo. All right, Adela Trinidad González con suegra. No, dice Domingo, ¿qué le pasa a mí? Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. David Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Mata. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Arqueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Mérida. Present teacher. Abrego. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Mariano Gavia Sibarca. Mariano José Vaga Santa Present teacher. María Gabriela. No, no, no. Vanessa no es mi rey. Perdón. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Brenda Brenda. A ver. María. Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys. So I will see you tomorrow. I hope you were able to finish. Hola. Uh, Victoria no me mencionó ni la vez anterior ni esta. Victoria, en serio, no la mencioné. No, ¿por qué? Perdóneme, Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. <laughs> Present. Ah, Victoria, sí, yo sé que aquí estaba, no se preocupe. All right, very good. Okay, guys, los veo mañana. All right, eh, sigan avanzando en la plataforma, especialmente los que me deben unidad uno. All right, bye, guys. Solo se queda domingo conmigo un ratito. Bye, good night. Bye, bye. good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. good night. Good night. Good night now. Ah, domingo. Usted no se puede ir, domingo. Okay, teacher. ¿Cómo le va Domingo? Lo veo cansado. Ah, es que estos días ha estado un poquito atareado y como trajo algo físico. Ah, ok. Entonces, ah, pero ahí vamos. Ok, mire, usted era compañero del otro muchacho que ya no está, en este, que ya no está con nosotros ahorita, pero el que se lastimó el ojito. ¿No era compañero de trabajo de él? ¿Qué también no. es dentista? Ah, usted dice como que se llamaba. Carlos creo que se llamaba. Sí, a ver que se me ha olvidado totalmente el nombre, pero ajá. Es que del grupo de, de mi, my, my group estaba Amilcar, que fue, se agregó en el tercer. Ajá. En el tercer. En el tercer en, tercero módulo y estaba Carlos uno que trabajaba, de, que hacía varias cosas pero que tenía parece, hacía, también sabía de electricidad parece ah. Carlos creo que se llama que, que trabajaba como en, con mantenimiento pero en agrícola algo así creo que es más o menos lo que logré entender lo que es todo lo que explico un día y quiero que en otro estaba ya que todos están en otro grupo usted. Ah, o no sé si están. Están en otro grupo, pero ajá. Sí, a saber cómo habrá seguido de lo. A saber si se repite. Ajá. Uh -huh.
si no fue muy grave, se ha recuperado. Right. A ver, Domingo, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta eh, de lo que hemos visto hasta ahora. Milagro que esté en este módulo. <risas> ¿Por qué va a ser? Bueno, sí, pero gracias a Dios aquí está. Ahí haciendo la lucha. Eh, sí. eh, por, por un momento, teacher, es lástima que me está quedando muy poco tiempo para... Para meterle, más, para meterle más de lleno porque le estoy poniendo más ganas ahora. Bueno, anteriormente sí, pero eh, me siento yo que me está costando la, retener la, las pronunciaciones. Eso me está faltando. Entonces, no hay cómo, qué, cómo practicar eso. Sí. Um, ah, yo creo, Domingo, que le, le ayudaría mucho es siempre estar como oyendo cosas en inglés, ¿verdad? Eso trato. ¿Verdad? Siempre uh -huh. audios o aún canciones, ¿verdad? Que usted pueda escuchar para que su oído siga guardando uh -huh. la información ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Vale? y, y, con, y ahorita en este, en este, ahorita con lo que hemos visto, lo anterior lo entendí bien, eh, y veo que ahorita estamos haciendo bastantes ya no son frases, sino que son casi diálogos. Ajá. Y hacer todo ese... Esa unión. Todo, toda esa unión, lo que es, lo que, lo que me, lo que trato de beber como la... la no, pero la, dice la, que su aporte es muy bueno o a sea, ah, Domingo. Sí, o sea, quizás tenemos que trabajar, como se dice, un poquito más en la pronunciación, pero las ideas están bien. Así es que ánimo, ¿verdad? Para que usted siga con eso, porque obviamente va aprendiendo. Y no es, sí, es. No es en vano, que, o sea, no es en balde, ¿verdad? Que usted está aquí, sino que ha sido con mucho esfuerzo y, y hay que seguir, ¿verdad? Pero sí, sus aportes son, son muy buenos. Sí, teacher, gracias. E igual, me, me serví mucho lo anterior con usted porque usted exige bastante y veo que eso no ayuda. Si uno no le exige, no lo hace. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A un día le voy a explicar, eh, me estuve ese, me fui al banco y me senté y, y prácticamente todo lo que estaba a mi alrededor lo entendí en inglés y lo pude algunas cosas me puse a ver si yo las traducí y logré o sea, sentarse y, y decir que le logré entender a todo lo, todos los rótulos y todo eso que está alrededor y es satisfactorio. Claro. Claro, y poco uh -huh. a poco, a veces uno siente que no, no va aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense uh -huh. que esto es, es lento, ¿verdad? Pero, pero de repente, pues sí, yo al escucharlo, lo escucho con muy, muy, muy bien los aportes y las opiniones que usted da y todo. Así es que siga, Domingo, oye. Ok, teacher. Así es que ¿Sí? hay que ponerle más ganas todavía. Yo sé que cuesta, ¿verdad? Porque tantas obligaciones, pero, pero es importante. Gracias, teacher. Y con respecto a la tarea, va que solo era, solo era de hacer las, las oraciones, de los, los, los procedios de en the world. Eh, eh, y solo, solo serán dos, ¿va? Sí, solo eran dos porque como están trabajando en pareja, al final se van a volver cuatro, ¿verdad? Dos de usted y dos, dos y de la persona que estaba. Va. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. sí. Ok. Que mañana los vamos a escuchar. Oye. Ok, teacher. Está bien, domingo, lo dejo descansar. Tiene un día largo mañana, así es que vaya a dormir. <ríe> ok, igual. Eh, bueno, gracias, teacher, por todo. Bueno, igual. Sí, claro, cuídense, estamos para servirles siempre. Gracias, thank you. Bueno. Good night. Good night to you, too.